RPG Maker's functionality can make fetch quests really easy to set up with events and switches. Firstly, set up your quest events how you want them to look. You can take a look at my other video on making a basic fetch quest to see how to do this. Once you've got the basic setup of the quest made, where an NPC asks the player to bring an item, you're going to want to use self-switch A and create a new page with it listed in the conditions. This page will be used to check if the player has the item. Create some text where the NPC asks if the player has the item yet, and then use a conditional branch to check if the item is in the inventory. This is on page 4 in the conditional branch window, in the dropdown listed as item. You can use create else branch here if you want to add some dialogue or something to say the player hasn't got the item yet. If the player does have the item, you can go ahead and add your dialogue and quest rewards into the if section of the conditional branch. Once that's set up, use self switch B to stop the quest reward page from repeating itself. You can create a new page with self switch B as a condition, then you can add some dialogue here for after the quest is completed, thanking the player for the item. And this is how the quest should play out. This is a great setup for very simple item quests, but there are more complex ways you can create quests by allowing the player to select an item from their inventory, which I'll detail in another video. Thank you for watching.